Has anybody ever told you you are worthless? That you are good for nothing? May nagsabi na ba sa'yo na bobo ka, na wala kang silbi, na wala kang kwenta? You know, I, I thank God that I never had to hear these words when I was young. But I know some kids who had to listen to these insults right at home. Imagine how that impacts a young child's heart and soul. These wounds strike deep in the heart of a child. And the impact of these wounds manifests itself all the way into adulthood. I know someone who was verbally abused as a child. He was a little slow with his mind, which is, of course, not his fault. But throughout his childhood, and, and even into adulthood, he had to endure his mother's unrelenting verbal assault. Binabatuhan siya araw-araw ng mga salita na mahirap lulunin. And so even now that he's in his midlife, he's so insecure. He feels unworthy of any privileges. He is very uncomfortable about getting compliments. He never had a stable job. He never had an intimate relationship with anyone and keeps pretty much to himself all the time. He heard too many insults and degrading accusations all his life. And none of them are true. They are all lies. But these lies had power over him because he believed them. We too may have been in insulted and then verbally abused by people when we were growing up. Perhaps by our parents, perhaps by other people. But these insults and verbal abuse have power over us only if we believe in them. But the Bible tells us a totally different story. If you have a Bible, read the book of Genesis and you will find there this very powerful truth. Then God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God created us in his image. Who we are reflect various aspects of God. All creation displays God's design, power, and goodness. But only we, human beings, are made in His image. And, and that means you and I are good for something. I am not worthless. You are not worthless. You are valuable in the eyes of God. Mahalaga ka sa mata ng Diyos. As you begin to appreciate your value as a person created in the image of God, may you always keep in mind, faith matters too.